Now I'm going to show you guys how to draw cartoons using the same methods that I went over in the last video. So if you haven't watched the video that says Intro to Drawing Part 1 using gesture lines, make sure to watch that one first, even if you are not planning to draw a still life that is set up in front of you like a bowl of fruit or something. Um, if you're drawing a cartoon, you're still going to use the same methods. So the first thing you'll need to do is pick a cartoon character out of one of the books in the classroom. So if you look in the big red crate, it's on the floor. I can show you where it is, of course. That is full of books, kind of like this, with a spiral bound end. And in there are tons and tons of line drawings of cartoon characters. There's some from the 90s, a lot from the 90s actually. And then there are some stacks of computer paper with more recent drawings on them that I drew and photocopied. Now, if the character that you, maybe you have your heart set on drawing a particular character and he's not in one of those piles, then you can use the iPads or go to the library and print out a picture of that character. If you're going to do that, I really want to emphasize that when you search in Google, type the character's name and then type line drawing. Okay, so if I were looking for Patrick, I don't want to just use a colorful picture because that gets a little bit distracting. Um, I just want to use a drawing that is outlined black and white. Okay, so I'm going to pull my picture up. So I'm going to go to Safari and I'm going to search Patrick Star. And then line drawing. You can also search um, coloring page. That would do the same thing because there are a lot of coloring pages that you can print out from the internet and that would give you the same thing. So I'm going to pick one like that's just traditional Patrick. So I'm going to look at this while I'm drawing because that was one of the most important things that I mentioned in the last video. That way you're constantly referencing the original and this means that I'm not going to be guessing on anything and I'll have that picture right next to me. Now you're not going to see it the whole time because it's going to be off screen. But I'm showing it to you so that you see that I actually have a picture of Patrick pulled up. Alright, now if we do look at Patrick and analyze him, we're going to see if we're just looking for those basic shapes that we're going to start out when we draw our gesture lines. We see lots of circles and triangles. That's pretty much it. And I always want you to start with the biggest shape first and make your way down to the smaller shapes. So when I start drawing, I'm going to start with a big circle in the middle that kind of covers his <laughs> that circle is the circle that makes up his belly, his butt, and then would be overlapped by the triangle for his head and his arms. And then I'll add these other triangles. Now, depending on your character, your character may be on a rectangle screen or a piece of paper that's vertical. So then you do want to have your book, um, your sketchbook or your piece of paper like I do. If your character is a wider character and the rectangle is rotated so that it's going the other way, you want to make sure to turn your paper so that it's going the other way. Okay, you don't want to have to squeeze anyone in an area. So I'm going to start with his round belly. Okay, so there's my gesture map, and basically the smallest shape that I went to were the eyes, and, you know, later when I go to sketch, I'll add the eyebrows and any smaller details, belly buttons, stuff like that. So from here, I'm going to sketch, those are my darker lines that are short, and my wrist is moving, and I'll just go nice and dark on the lines that I really, that I want to keep. So this is where... I'll kind of ignore these areas where the circle and the triangle overlap because that's what I'm going to erase later. But that is where I'm blending these two shapes together. 
And then when I had this little triangle attached to the triangle for the head, that's where I will bring that together. And it kind of curves in and back out. I'll do that. And his shorts kind of curve a little bit there. And I just put straight lines for this part of the legs because it's really just a tiny little triangle. And this short kind of flares out. Okay, so now I can't forget that on. Now I'm gonna add in his line for his pants, shorts. We don't want a Patrick that is naked. And then there's like a second line. already tell that this he's a little heavy in the bottom. <laughs> I think I gave him too big of a, I don't know, circle's kind of lopsided or something. Something is off because this, mm. anyway, <laughs> that's why this is my first copy and that's why this is practice. Belly button, so I'm adding those other details. Figure out how big I want these eyes, and I can erase a little bit of that later. Got the one eye overlapping the other eye. And I had just put in these little crosshairs before for the where the pupils would go. But that makes a big difference in him looking like Patrick. You know, he's got pupils. A little freaky. It's a little freaky when there's just the little crosshairs. happy smile and the tongue there and we cannot forget his eyebrows see the eyebrows that's one of those little details that you would forget if you were not actually looking at a picture while you're drawing him all right so there's Patrick my version um, and you know I could erase these lines just practice though not a big deal I did make them very light so even if I didn't erase them, we would still be able to tell it's Patrick. If you look, if you were at like the Disney store or anywhere, you know, like the Pinocchio drawing in the back of my room, um, those, you know, professional artists, they do keep the gesture lines in on their working drawings, so, you know, I think, I like it, I think it looks like kind of cool and looks like, oh, like, a real artist did this. But that's up to you. Anyway, now I can compare this Patrick to the Patrick that I was drawing for my screen. And I think it's pretty close. There are a couple things that are off. Um, you know, I think maybe I made his head a little bit too tall and skinny. Like, the eyes on this head look like they're further up then over here, so maybe that's just because I made the head too tall. Um, yeah, I think the circle might have just gone a little too far down with the bottom half of the body. Maybe if it went to about there, it would be good. But overall, I think it looks great. And one way that you can check yourself to see if you did, you know, what parts look like they're off is if you turn your drawing upside down and look at it from that perspective next to the other one you're gonna see more of the shapes 
rather than Patrick because it's just something that flips a switch in your brain that now that I'm looking at it upside down uh, my brain is not recognizing oh that's Patrick it's kind of slower processing and it's looking more at the shapes so you can turn that upside down and turn your drawing in the book upside down look at them side by side and then really compare and see what's off and what's what did you get you know what did you nail what's the good part okay so any cartoon that you're going to draw I want you to repeat that same cartoon three times and then you can compare all three and see okay which one watch as they progress alright that's why it's really important that you pick a cartoon character that is at your skill level okay don't try and pick one that is really complex just because you totally love that character um, because then you're making it a lot harder for yourself okay and I'm not saying you can't draw a character that's hard but work your way up to those characters now the last step will be our contour lines and that would you know if I wanted to outline this in Sharpie sure but this is a practice drawing so I'm not going to do that. And again, remember I said we really don't need to outline in Sharpie, but choose a color that's darker than that character. So if he's pink, then I would probably outline with a color pencil that's like a pinkish red, like a dark pink. Alright, so that's Patrick and drawing cartoons with gesture lines.